Hello guys and welcome to my new video and today I decided to do an add-on video and mainly focusing on weak auras too and mainly focusing on the best website to actually get your weak auras Wago.io So I decided to do this video because I get actually I actually get so many questions about the weak auras and where I got my weak auras, how do I get this, can I can you share this? And the simple fact is is that all of the weak our majority of the weak auras that I use are from Wago.io, Wago.io, I don't know how to even say it, but either way, this website is really, really good. The whole concept of having a weak or if you're not sure what weak or is, weak or is, is any way to display information about anything in the game. Cooldown, spell usage, buffs, expiration for boss abilities, anything in the game can be displayed on the screen in any way possible, any way that fits you, and if you create a weak aura, or if someone who's created a weak aura creation is decided to share their weak aura, they can do it on Wago.io. Wago and you can just copy it, import it, and that's it. And I'll be covering how to actually import the weak auras, and my top 5 weak auras that I've either used before or I'm using currently, and I feel that are almost mandatory. Almost mandatory. So first of all, you just go to Wago.io. You go to weak auras. There's also LVI and Voodoo profiles as well if you are if you want to do that. But right now we're just focused on weak auras. You click on weak auras. You select anything that you want. Anything that you need. You can look for your specific class weak auras. For Ontorus weak auras. You click on anything. And then the weak aura that you selected. You just copy the string. You copy the string. You go back into your game. You obviously have weak auras 2 installed already. You type in forward slash WA to open up the control panel of your weak ores. You'll probably be selected straight away to new. You go to import, you copy and paste, control V, control plus V uh, to paste the code that you already did and click done. And that is it. Now you have a weak ore that you need. You can add that, you can kind of configure it. But most of the time, those packages will be just ready to go. They'll be ready to go and anyone who's like boosted a player or just came back to World of Warcraft. It's super, super simple and highly, highly recommended. Highly recommended. So first of all, let's look at some of the weak ores that I've actually chose to install myself and actually use. So first of all, number one is, it's a very general concept, your class weak aura. So if you're playing a Discipline Priest, if you're playing a Shadow Priest, if you're playing Druid, if you're playing a Rogue, whatever. Go to Wago, filter it by your class. Filter it by probably views, because if you filter it by views, you can see the most popular weak ores. And usually, like the top, you know, 20 or whatever, you can pick any of those. You can pick any of those weak ores, import it. Like, the second that I boosted my Discipline Priest, I went to Wago and I got myself a class weak aura. You can see it here, it's displaying, like, you know, the things that I need. Uh, the people who create these weak ores already know what your class is about. They know exactly the spells that are important, the spells that should be tracked, the spells that should be highlighted when they expire, when they come off cooldown. So, like, without even knowing how to play a Discipline Priest, by getting a weak ore, you're already like, okay, I need to keep track of these spells. Like, you're also learning how to play your class by installing these weak ores. And the default UI that Blizzard provides, I feel, does not give you a good indication of when the cool when, when the spell comes off cooldown and things like that. So it's mandatory. I almost feel like if you feel your class is missing something, or if you miss you're not sure when something comes comes off cooldown, like you just need that extra indication, go to Wago, get your class weak aura. So a good example of this is that I get asked a lot about my balanced druid weak aura, which is not mine. It's uh, it's not mine, it's called AP Probar uh, by Seus. I use I, I don't know how to say names either way this is a good example of weak or that, that I get asked a lot about because it's such a good weak or it's so good it's so clean everything's everything's there which you, when you need it and it's not too cluttered which for me is really really important so that's a good example of that so now let's go to number two one of the most important things that you should get straight away when any new raid is released raid package weak or and I you, so for for this example, it's on Taurus tier 21. So I use tier 21 on Taurus weak aura made by Clauses, by Cossies. Again, I'm butchering names. Uh, this weak aura, I get again, I get a lot of questions asked. 
it tells me like the damage isn't coming in 10 seconds prepare like if if you have a weaker it tells you when the damage is about to be coming like from argus when the, someone's about to explode from the soul uh, from the bomb it tells me damage is nine eight seven six I, like as a discipline priest, as a resto druid, I can pre-hot prepare and things like that. It's really, really important. This weak aura is as good, in my opinion, is as good as like DBM or big wigs. It almost replaces DBM or big wigs because it'll tell you the information that is relevant to you. So you won't die. You, you might get a debuff. You need to run away. It'll tell you like spread out. So I feel this weak aura or a tier specific weak aura for any new dungeon, for any new raid that comes out. The first thing you should do is go to Wago, check if there is a good weak aura package released, because this is going to be as good as DBM or big weeks, depending. Especially for new players, especially for new players, should get it straight away. My personal opinion. Now, number three is something, somewhat of weak aura that I've only discovered very, very recently, and it's one of those glowing bar weak auras. Um, it's this is the only weak aura that's mainly aimed at healers so if you're not a healer you probably don't have to worry about this maybe if you're like you know someone who can provide external cooldowns like a you know retribution pound or something maybe you want to pick this up either way what this does is basically for the major debuffs in Antorus, the major debuffs in Antorus, for example i was doing argus and i wanted to see the sentence of sargeras sentence of sargeras and mythic argus three people or whatever get this debuff and they tick for really really heavy damage and you need to heal them up the bad part about uh, argus is that or uh, argus is that there's so much stuff happening you have to move you have to dodge you have to think and sometimes you're like even if you have an indicator on your grid voodoo or whatever heal bot or whatever you might still miss out on that you might not like you, you will you won't react in a split second because you need to react straight away so this week or will just highlight them like it'll be a glowing frame around that target and, like, I mean, you have to be blind not to see that. It's so, so prevalent. And this will show you what players need specific healing. What targets are priority targets. So if you're entering Antorus for the first time and you're like, I'm not sure which targets get what debuffs. I'm not sure which debuffs actually do damage. I'm, like, this weak aura will just start glowing when someone needs healing. Or when someone needs extra attention or external cooldown or whatever. Really, really good. On top of that, it's not only for on Taurus, because this guy, Buds, who's made a lot of weak words about this, about the glowing frames for Tumas Sargeras, for on Taurus, he, all, he, he or she also made one for Legion Dungeons. So if you're doing Dungeons, Blackrock Hole, Dive, Asharan, Altair, Slayer, Cathedral, whatever, and you're not sure what cooldowns or what debuffs are really, really important to track, or like when a target needs extra healing, he or she also has a package for this. I'm yet to try this out. I am sure it's going to be great because the Antorus one is working perfectly for me. It's working perfectly for me. Definitely a must-have for healers. I would consider this a must-have for healers. Really, really good find. Uh, thank you, buds, for this awesome week. Or. And now, number four is can work for everyone. So this is basically Tehers raid cooldowns. So this is basically will show you all of the cooldowns all of the utility cooldowns crowd control cooldowns interrupts for your for your party and raid now it's such a big week or like i mean you can track about anything in this this is done so well like you can configure it in so many different ways it is really really powerful now my only concern about this is that it's possible that some week wars can take a lot of memory and can actually slow down your game so it's possible that this might slow down your game and there are alternatives to this weak aura, an add-on called Exorcist Raid Tools, which also has an additional option of tracking raid cooldowns, is also another option. I'm not sure if this is going to slow down your game or if your PC is very slow, might not handle this. Like I mean, if this is not if this is not working for you, try out Exorcist Raid Tools. It does the very sim very similar thing as well, and it's very very important to keep track of other people cooldowns. And now let's go to the a little bit of a healer perspective here. Um, if you're a healer and you're just worried about like when is my resto jewel tranking or like when is my holy paladin using your aura mastery like i don't want to snipe them if you're a monk you probably do but if you want to just see healer cooldowns there's a very good week aura healer raid cooldowns and utilities uh by julia will just showcase when someone is using like Aven avenging wrath and, sh and healer basically healer cooldowns 
So if you see a Jew tranking as a Mistweaver, you know that is your time to revival. It's a very good week order to tilt your rest of Druids as a Mistweaver. But yeah, this is definitely something that I recommend, especially for healers. Especially for healers. Now, number 5 is a week order that somewhat became very, very popular in the last couple of months. I think it's only been released in the last couple of months. Um, it's used mainly in Mythic Plus. It's effective health, magic and physical. So this is by Zelda. There's multiple people who are working on this week aura. But basically what it does, it gives you like a number. P and M. Physical and magic. And it basically tells you how much percentage of a HP you're going to have after a certain boss ability. So if a boss like Shade of Zavius in Dakar Ticket is targeting you. He's going to do the Shadow Volley or whatever it's called. And like, you know, on high tyrannical keys you might die. This week aura will tell you. Oh. The cast is about to happen. It's, a, it's about to go off. This week order will tell you, oh, this, this damage is going to kill you. You're going to need to pop a cooldown. And then you pop a cooldown and this week order will tell you, okay, you will survive with 5% HP. And you're good. It takes into account all the mitigation, uh, priders and things like that. So this week order is basically to prevent one-shot mechanics from happening. It's a week order that prevents one-shot mechanics from happening. In Mythic Plus, it is used by a lot of top-end guys and girls who do really high mythic plus and they don't and they want to prevent the one shot mechanics definitely worth installing if you don't do really high mythics you might not be that worried about this uh, and this is the number five an honorable mention will definitely go out for the mythic plus weak or things like the explosive or weak or like anytime there's different affixes happening there are so many good Uyghurs. Sanguine. When someone is staying in the in the Sanguine pool, when you can knock them back, especially as a, as a druid with Typhoon. There's Uyghurs that tell you... When, like, there's so many good Uyghurs for Mythic Plus. And I highlight the Explosive Orb one, because when Explosive Orb happens, this Uyghur will highlight the frame, or the target frame, of the Explosive Orb. So, so if you're pulling, like, 20 mobs, and Explosive Orb spawn all around them, sometimes you have a hard time actually figuring out where is the explosive orb? How can I select it? And this week or will just make it bigger and highlight it. Like, I mean, once you get these week ors and once you start playing with them, you'll be like, how did I play this game without it? It's almost, in a way, kind of cheating, if you consider it. A lot of people might not think that week ors are bad and, like, they make the game dumb down and things like that. They do. They help out the game a lot. If you want to do really high mythic plus or on Taurus or whatever, you will need to have them. Whatever helps the game will help you, will improve you, will help you heal, DPS, or tank better. And it's available freely on this website. It's almost like I'm sponsoring this. I'm not. I'm not sponsoring Wago. I'm saying Wago is just the best way to share your weak horse. It's so popular. If you're new to the game, you don't even need to know how to configure these weak horse. You just need to know how to copy and paste it into your add-on. And that's it. So this has been a highlight video of this add-on. Uh, the weak cores that I mentioned, I feel, are very, very useful for a lot of the players. There are a lot of other weak cores that are also very, very good and I didn't mention. Leave a comment below if you feel I missed out on something really, really cool. Leave a comment below if there's a weak core that's not that popular, but should be more popular. Should, be, should get more attention. Let me know how you feel about this video. Let me know how you feel about weak ores. Thank you for watching this little guide for advanced and beginner players. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.